Thank you so much, Bly, and thanks to all of you for having me here. Um, this is actually a very special room for me. Uh, on my first day as president, I had my first installation in this room by the Musqueam people right here. Uh, and so um, it's really an honor to be in the Longhouse on the unceded territory of the Coast Salish people. It's wonderful that you have me here and for me to learn about the Faculty of Education's focus on advancing the quality and impact of educational research at UBC within our communities through this particular initiative. And for those of you who saw my installation, you'll know that I talked about why it's important for UBC to have an unwavering focus on research and on research excellence, and, and this aligns so well with this. I, just before this event, we had an interesting discussion with the dean and many of the faculty around the direction we'd like to see uh, for UBC, where I'm proposing are the major areas of foci for UBC. And let me just go through them very quickly for those of you who weren't here. I talked about the two core academic missions of the university uh, and how we need to make sure we're always keeping our eye on those two missions. First, UBC is a place of learning. We know and I think we all believe that our biggest obligation here is to our students and to make sure that we provide them with a wonderful education because we know that the best route for social mobility and economic mobility in our society is an education and that personal empowerment comes through education. And so what you're doing, both in directly educating your students but also giving them the tools to educate a new generation, is critical for the success of this country and I would argue for the world. The second piece is around UBC as a place of research. And I think it's fair to say that that excellence in research is what is now becoming the distinguishing feature of the great universities in the world. And we have to make sure that when we're doing this research, our students are benefiting. They're benefiting from access to the discoveries, the revelations, the thinking that we have on our campus, because that's what's going to create the leadership that we need in this country, the leadership that's going to address the very significant social problems, economic problems, environmental sustainability issues that we face as a people. If we're going to succeed on these two very core missions of the university, I would argue that we need to think about three other themes that we need to build on. First is UBC as a place of engagement. It's we should be a focal point for engaging with the communities, first in Vancouver and Kelowna, because that's where we're physically situated. We need to have impact on our local communities. And then building out from there to the province, to the country, to the rest of the world. And we need to think about the types of engagement that make sense in this layered process. The second piece is UBC's inter as an international place, as a place that is a gateway to the rest of the world, for our province, for our country, for ourselves, for our students. I, I think it's fair to say that UBC is one of the most cosmopolitan campuses uh, anywhere. Um, you know, we count students from 150 different countries on our campus, and we should think about how we're acting as a connecting place to bring together these people from all over the world, how we're facilitating the connection for our students with civil society in all these other countries. The third piece is UBC as a place of innovation. And here what I mean is, how do we reflect the needs of broader society into our academic missions, the needs for education and research and thinking from out, that's needed out there to address the challenges that the world faces into our own academic mission. And I keep saying that's not an easy thing to do. It's not easy to listen 
to all these voices out there and understand from that, take away from that, distill from that, what it is that speaks to our academic mission, and then even harder to reflect that into what we do. The Faculty of Education is, is a little bit unique because it's always been about engaging community. It's always been about service. And I would argue in many ways service to a group in our society that's in some ways the most vulnerable and in some ways the most critical for success of the country. Um, you know, I had the Premier say to me once, you know, she's got a lot of people wanting access and resources, but let's think about who are the, what is the part of our population that needs the most from government. And I had to agree with her that the, that the elementary and the secondary school system may require more attention from the government than the university system because we need to make sure our young people get off to a great start and that what you provide to the teachers you train, to the professional programs you create, is making sure our young people in this country have great long-term outcomes. So I want to thank you all for everything you do. I'm looking forward. Unfortunately, I can't stay too long today, but I do want to learn about some of the research programs you're running. I think they're going to be really exciting uh, for me to learn about. And I'm also looking forward at some point getting to meet some of your students and, and hear about all the wonderful things they're working on. So thank you very much.